before getting started with the part related to the dormitory, let's first see how dormitories look like. Buildings are located in a beautiful place, aren't they? Being more specific about the location, dormitories are located here. These two buildings which are under construction are also gonna be dormitory buildings. Dormitory buildings are divided into four types. First type, buildings 301, 302, 303. Second type, buildings 304, 305. Third type, buildings 306, 307. Fourth type, buildings 308, 309. What are the differences of these types? Generally speaking, each type has different kind of room and different price. You can learn about differences in detail in the following charts. Press pause button if you need. And now, let's see how actually different type tones look like. The purpose of the dorm administration office is to provide standards for the dormitory administration to handle application, allocation, move-in, move-out, sanitation tasks, assessment and rewards and punishments. The dorm office shall provide living regarding advices to students, produce dormitory administration plan, handle dormitory bed application and allocation, and monitor and assess students' behavior during their stay. You can contact any time regarding dormitory related issues by the contact information. In the beginning of every semester and vacation, international students and new freshmen are allowed to register for using Kitchen through a Google survey as first come first served basis. In this video, you will be able to see three kitchens which are located in 304, 305 and 306. Kitchens for male and female students are different. The only kitchen female students can use is the kitchen which is located in a 305 building. Other kitchens are for male students. Kitchen users are obliged to clean the kitchen every week according to the kitchen rules. The communal kitchen operation time is from 6 am until 10 pm. User, users cannot use other places of the fridges and cupboard other than the place which student was registered. The dorm administration office staffs always check the kitchen regarding cleaning, user rules and etc. Breaking the rules can result in student residence penalty points. Hi dear freshmen, so this is a little bit uh, a little guide for you for the first days at Eunice. So first day when you arrive to Eunice, you don't know where to go and where to put your stuff. So first thing you should do is to go to 308 building and the, on the first floor there is a dorm staff member. So they will provide you with the keys, like card, and then they will tell you in which room you will live and with which whom, like with whom. And then, after first week, you will pay for your dorm, and then you will pay an exact amount of money, like we paid 145,000 won. This money are for water, uh, electricity, and then air conditioner air, and air heater. So, our advice for you guys is that please uh, do not spend a lot of like water and the electricity if you want to save money because in the end of the semester they will re refund the money uh, that you didn't use for electricity, water and so on. So this is our first advice for you. Just remember it. Good luck. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cold. Oh my god. What should I do? Okay. I don't know how to turn it on. Hey, Tina. Please, I need your help. Can you please turn on the heater? It's so cold. Please, please, please. Please, just come on. Okay. Mm. 
it's for tanam and this is for water and this is for flour and this is for tomato so can you turn on the, the heater for the room please it's so okay. cold that's it that's it did you understand uh, um yes thank you very much about your questions let's say that you want to turn on the heater and it's really cold outside however you don't know how to use this little gadget let's say you have a roommate but she's really busy are you gonna bother her or in the worst case she's not gonna be at home what will you do so now i'm gonna show you how to use this little gadget first of all to turn on this gadget you have to press this little, little button on the left side which means turn it on then you have to press this button which means floor after pressing this button you have to choose what temperature you want to put it on so you have to press either plus or minus depends on your preference if you want to turn on the heater in the water then you have to use this button which means turning on the heater in water and actually you have to use the same buttons again to put the temperature on your preference and if you're going outside just press this button it's, it means automatically turning on the air conditioner or air heater when you're outside of the house that's pretty much it imagine it's a hot summer but it's May right now it's May in Ulsan and it's so hot and humid so if you don't want to die you should know how to use this big gadget <laughs> so the first step to turn it on is this the first button so this first button means on off Ta -da! and then you can control the temperature by using this two like one button so it's like up you can increase the temperature or decrease in our case we're decreasing the temperature and then this button stands for the power that we want to have like, like the speed of the wind that we need so basically that's it what you need for this summer or spring which is super hot and we don't know what is this button so we don't have to use it our Korean women said so good luck hi new freshies so when you come to Eunice you think that you should register for the dorm but the Eunice has provided everything for you so they already uh, have the list of the people with whom you will live like your roommates so for the first semester you will live, uh, you will live in the dorm 303 or 301 so 301 is only for boys and 303 is mixed and the first semester you will not be able to choose your roommate so you will leave with the person that the unit has decided for you and then after the first semester you will be able to choose your roommate and the dorm where you will be you will want to leave but 303 and 301 are mandatory for all freshmen good luck the dormitory area there are four convenience stores located near every dorm. The one S301 <coughs> operates 24 hours and 7 days in a week. Most of daily needs can be found there, so students do not have to go outside of campus unless it is more specific demands. Things that can be purchased at convenience stores include snacks, beverages, ramen, microwave fast foods, shampoo, detergent, cleaning goods, and some clothes belongings. You can also recharge your transport cards. You can pay for items by Korean cash or by credit cards like Visa, MasterCard. Lastly, be polite and do not forget to sign after purchase. <coughs> Billiard is located at the first floor of building between dorms 304 and 305. Billard room have one apple pool and four four-wall pool tables. Fee charged for every 10 minutes in amount of 1,200 won. Time is recorded by clock near every pool table, so be sure to push yellow button before starting using table and after. After your game, you can pay to cashier using cash or card.
dorm library is located at the second floor of the building between dorms 304 and 305. No reservation is needed to use it, and library is open all year long, 24 hours. One can use study slots and tables if it is free, but should obey common rules like being quiet and neat. Dome 301 has TV room for all students, which is open 24 hours a day throughout the year. Students gather there to spend time together, watching TV programs and playing games. Commercial copy machine, sofas, tables and shelves with entertaining magazines and books can be found at the TV room. We can change TV channels with remote control if no one minds. Let me show you laundry rooms. Listen. First is location. There is a laundry room in each dorm building. We will show you exact locations of them. Watch it. Did you memorize? Don't worry. They are usually in the ground floor of each building. Once you enter the laundry room, you can find washing machine, drying machine, detergent vending machine, and iron and rack. Awesome. This is brief how to use. Put your stuff into the machine before you put the money into it. This is important point and make sure you close the door properly and push the button. There is no difference between buttons, so don't be curious. Actually, I've tried all of them. Believe me. Once washing is done, leave the door open. If you are to dry them in the drying machine, just use it in the same way. Put in your stuff before the money. You can get detergent and drying machine fabric softener from the vending machine. Another important point. They only accept 501 coins or 1,001 gills for the washing machine and a 501 coin for vendor. If you want to use the iron, just push the red button and that is the button. There is laundry service counter in 309 building. You will meet the laundry master. In here, you can do dry cleaning, ordinary cleaning, washing shoes and mending your clothes and they also keep your blanket during the vacation. How fabulous. Just show your stuff to the master, then she will ask you the money for it. That's it. What a deal. Next is English Commons. This place is famous for its hospitality and as a venue for various interesting events. Obviously, it is a double place for those who want to practice speaking English. English Commons is just next to the entrance of 309 building. Here, you can meet new people and have a cup of coffee. And of course, you can use the facilities like big TV, board games, and computer machine. And almost every week, a variety of events is going on in English Commons during semester, such as carnival games and speed branding, project learning, this is not mistake, sorry, but this is real, and etc. Come here and have fun on campus with other uni stars, just like you. There are the three champions who are running this wonderful place, Robbie, Delsep, and Miss Kim. This is Robbie. Hello, this is Robbie from the English Commons. We'd like to see you here at Building 309. Actually, what I liked the most was the pasta. Beautiful pasta even for free. How cool, never miss it. Even if you like pasta, but you still want something different, here's one option for you, the Uni Snack. Uni Snack is the small snack bar where you can grab some food and beverages with reasonable price either as eating or takeaway. This place is on the second floor in a tiny building between 304 and 305. The menus in here consist of rice cup with topping, green sea fruit, and fruity smoothies. If you are a Muslim, there are no other options but ice board topped with tuna and egg, or baby leaf and egg. And unfortunately, if you are a Muslim who doesn't like egg, there is no option at all. Well, still the smoothies will be fine though. If you want something, just an email, you will see beautiful lady answering you. Then you can tell or point anything on the menu you like. They accept both cash and card. This place is open from around 10 a.m. till 11 p.m. So you are always welcome here. This is all I got for you. If you have any questions, just mail me jwc9202 at unis.hc.kr. Thank you.